Well, science, technology, engineering, and math, it's all known as STEM and is a staple now in every classroom. But a major gender gap lies in the career field. Lindsay Thies looks at how school districts are getting girls interested in STEM by starting in the classroom. Here's some numbers for you. According to the Census Bureau, women make up 48% of the U.S. workforce, but just 24% of workers in STEM fields. In other words, half as many women are working in STEM jobs. Educators are trying to combat that stat. Teaching math and science has changed. Most adults have grown up hearing uh, subject, science subjects taught as uh, silos. Uh, chemistry didn't cross over into uh, earth science, didn't cross over into biology at all, and so and none of that ever interacted with technology or um, engineering. And now we're learning more that real life doesn't work that way, and so school has to adopt. At Westside Middle School, technology is part of the curriculum. The business and technology class is a required class for all seventh graders, and in that class we focus on uh, uh, exploration of technology and business topics. And then in digital media and literacy, that's an eighth grade elective class that students opt to take. And in that class, as you can see, they um, work on stop motion animation, they work on computer programming, so it's just kind of a more advanced technology class. And more and more workshops and lessons are sprouting up to encourage young girls to maintain their interest in STEM fields. Beyond the class, girls meet after school working on a variety of projects. There's way more things you can do with technology now. Girls, we played with robots. We built them and programmed them. We um, learned a little HTML. And it starts even younger than that and beyond traditional STEM classes. Take Sunny Slope Elementary School in Omaha Public Schools, for example. This library time is also STEM time. What we're trying to do is program like little robots we have and it's very hard and one of them we can't program because it doesn't have that option and so we're just trying to do the same thing with it just driving it around circuitry and just learning to prototype invent and then and create something a science grant allows educators to attend conventions to bring back ideas for stem you know i mean yes we have our checkout days um, and we do do literacy lessons. Branching beyond the typical to educate the next generations of engineers, programmers, you name it, that are all female. For In the Classroom, Lindsay Thies, 3 News Now. You can find this story and more from our In the Classroom series online. It's part of our commitment to covering education in our communities. Head to our website, 3newsnow.com.